JQ Crafty here with another layout that I did for Chinese Whispers back in July. Um, that was the layout I showed you in here, it's up in the corner, um, that I'm supposed to scrap lift. And I had these pictures of my son um, where what, during his preschool, the first time he had to sing in front of people while we were at that preschool. Um, and it was at Camp Omega. We did an outdoor church. so service so I figured that would be kind of fun um wasn't sure when he would get to go to Camp May again at that moment um he will probably get to go a few more times um since we'll be starting kindergarten at that same um Lutheran school here this fall but or he did already by the time you see this oh yeah mm -hmm. he did start <laughs> but anyway so I this is the layout I was given I really like the idea but I had a lot more photos so I decided to stretch it to a two-page layout Yep, <laughs> here I'm showing you. And craft cardstock, I love me some craft cardstock. Um, it's a really good neutral when you have a lot of fun bright colors. The, I'm using like a partial leftover kit I have from the scrap room. I have no idea who it's by, but all the branding strips are gone. But the colors are really fun, but yet like not chaotic. They're kind of more of a, they all have like a, I wanna say a dirty tone to them, but it's not like a distressed look um, also in a lot of the corners. So. Um, it's a lot of far away photos, so I'm going to accentuate the one um, with one of those yellow frames. I'm going to bring in some yellow. And so with the layout that I was given, I really liked the element of um, the distressing and the layers and the corners. But I have a sun, and yeah, it doesn't matter. You can put um, flowers on anything, but sometimes it just it doesn't feel right to me, especially like this. Like, it's not... Flowers just didn't seem right, and I've been meaning to use my stamps more. So, uh, I think you saw out, I have this sheet music um, stamp. It's like a two by, might be four or something. I'm not sure. It's just slightly bigger than my um, my stamping um, acrylic stamp block, which that reminds me, I probably should get some more blocks. But I decided to do that in the corner um, corners instead, and you'll see that. And then I end up using, because she had something kind of going all the way around the edge. It might have been a layer. It was hard to tell from the picture I got. Um, so I decided to stamp all the way around the edge, too, with a color that matches this um, reddish-orange color behind the photos, like, perfectly. So just getting all my elements cut and how I need them, um, doing a banner that goes, or, yeah, a banner. Well, technically a banner where the <laughs> my brain is farting <laughs> oh. uh yeah doing that stripe <laughs> with the banner tail all the way across um there's a lot of things that end up a little bit wonky just because i'm stretching it across a two two pages but it ends up looking really cute and i really like the way it turned out and it was a, it was a really good um layout to stretch to two because of the elements um it had so it was rather easy to do that so just using up um the papers just kind of layering up i really like that super layery look that they have on there where their title is and now the funny thing about this is so I did pass it on as a two page, but I did tell them then and sent them a picture of just the left page, which doesn't end up having the title on it, but just said this page more matches the page I got just so they knew um, what elements to really focus on if they wanted to scrap lift, but I did send them a two page. Uh, the person after me probably hates me. <laughs> because of how I keep changing the elements like completely um, from that first layout that I got those flowers I changed the hexagons and now this one I'm changing my flowers to music notes and making a two day page spread but she doesn't know the picture I got so it'll be really fun um, to see <laughs> what these all turn into but getting that strip um, element right there just distressed distressing the heck out of it <laughs> Wanted to bring more of that blue in. I really like that bright blue. And all the kids are in like blues and um, reds and some pinks. And so kind of just bring in those colors in. 
So yeah, I was getting the paper elements set and then I'm like, all right, what do I want to do? I was trying to figure this out. So this is when I decided I want to do the stamping. And so I flipped it over just to test it out. So you can see my, I had to put it on the angle so that it was mostly um, on the block. And I wanted to make sure the color I picked out because I didn't do black. I did like a, it's a distress oxide. I don't remember what the color is at the moment. But it's not a black, it's like a tan. I want to say burlap, possibly. Um, but I liked that it was more subtle. And then this month also, so I did all that. And then um, now I'm going to start doing the border in this um, red color that matches that orangey red perfectly. <laughs> I was just checking. So I did, yeah, the music notes in the lower left of the left page and then the upper right of the right page. So that is just like the sketch and how it's around the corner. Um, here, I'm just finishing up the stamping. I didn't make you watch any of that. So there, see? Stamping all the way across. Fun. So now I'm going to um, adhere everything down because I put all the layers together. Sorry, giant head in the way. Um, before I did that because I wanted that at least all done so then when I was done doing the stamping all I had to do is plop it back on. I'll line her all up the best I could. <clears throat> uh, she, so Julie, is, um, she's Turtle Crafts I believe is the name of her. Um, I think she's in the UK. She's the one who was like doing all this. Crafty Basket is kind of like what she calls scrapping inspiration is her Facebook page and she's the one who invited me. She was also on um, Confessions of a Paper Addict um, fan page on Facebook and she said they needed people to play along so I said sure why not <laughs> and it was really fun. I I would love to do a YouTube hop of telephone hop like this like where we pass to each other. I think it would be a, a really fun. Um, <clears throat> adding some doily elements in to get some framing kind of of my photos and get some clusters started putting this frame on so you can see my kid's face he was more than or I should say less than amused to be up there he didn't sing he just stood there but he did good he didn't cry so that was a bonus but anyway back to what I was saying um Julie does a really good job of organizing this and um, making sure everybody is where they need to be. And she would give us on occasion um, extra challenges. This challenge this month was to hide a cup somewhere, cup, mug, glass, somewhere in your layout so that it was hard to find. So um, I took advantage of my stamping and I kind of disguised one and camouflaged it in the music notes. The person I passed it to said she found it right away. It was really clever. The one I got, I could not find hers at all so I'm not sure um, where it was but I put the title to be continued um, and then I put underneath I believe it says um, if you like singing in front of public or not just because you didn't freak out he didn't freak out but he didn't and he didn't cry but he didn't sing so he did get better at that after, um, this was like the beginning of preschool and more Sunday school kids than anything. Um, this was the beginning of preschool, uh, three-year-old preschool. Um, by the end of three-year-old preschool, he was singing along during their little shows they put on and it was fantastic. He was very entertaining. Adding some little elements, some hearts, just whatever I had. Stuff I had in my stash, going through, see if I had anything else. But yeah, I think I scrapped the lift of this pretty well. Going through all my layered sticker things that I got, that I binge bought, <laughs> seeing what else I could find. One yellow flower. I figured I needed to bring some more yellow in. There wasn't a lot of yellow. There was some yellow in the, um, barely in the pattern papers that I used kind of on the bottom. And with that yellow frame, I needed a little balance of yellow. So I put a little yellow flower. Just 
adding little things. I think I just add some new row wraps too eventually. But yeah, um, I'm just finishing up. I don't, I believe I add some stamping or at least the date to that little red. Um, oh yes, I add a little heart. I end up having to go re-glue a lot of that stuff. It wasn't staying, so I end up re-gluing, but yeah, that is the two page and those some close-ups coming up. So I guess I don't have much more to say about that. <laughs> um, but thank you. This is my, let's see, this should be my third layout that I did for this. Yeah, um, fourth, including mine. And here are the close-ups. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. More to come. Bye.